Hi family, welcome into another broadcast of You Are Enough and I'm Nikki and it's so good to be here with you. I want you all to like our videos for us, share them, and we want you to remember to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that when we upload future videos, you're not going to miss one single video. Listen family, you don't owe no man an explanation. You know, explaining yourself to people is sometimes so difficult not to do. You know, people are going to believe whatever they want to believe about you. They're going to feel however they have chosen to feel about you. When you keep explaining yourself to somebody over and over and over and over again, it's just like trying to prove to somebody that you're not the person that they think that you are. It's going to leave you frustrated. It's going to leave you so angry sometimes family of God but the Bible tells us to be angry and sin not the sin comes behind when we do things out of anger it is that response it is that reaction to the anger that is going to cause us to sin so you can be angry but the Bible tells us to be angry and to sin not stop explaining yourself to people stop giving that person an explanation about who you are and what you stand for you don't owe no man an explanation the Bible say oh no man absolutely nothing but to love him I'm gonna say it again the Word of God tells us to owe no man nothing but to love him this is all you owe a person just to love them the agape way the love that God has for all humanity. This is what we owe humanity, the agape love. You don't have to explain yourself to people. People don't like it when you don't give an explanation. People will loathe you when you don't give them an explanation. People will loathe you when you set a boundary in place. People will loathe you. They won't like you at all because, family, you let a no come out of your lip. You let a no come out of your mouth. You said no. People don't like it when you turn them down. People don't like it when you don't pay them attention. The moment that you took your presence back, the moment that you withdrew your presence, people didn't like it. They have a problem when you say no. People have a problem when you take away something that you've been freely giving them because they counted on that. But what your enemies didn't count on, what the adversary didn't count on, what the opponent did not count on. They didn't count on you standing in your own power. They didn't count on you standing in your own truth. They did not count on the day that you would pull your power back from them, that you would snatch the keys to your life out of their hands. They didn't count on that day. See, God doesn't let you see these days. This is why you don't prejudge people. This is why the enemy will always walk away. Not so happy. A lot of people are walking away in your life not so happy because they've been beat at their own game. You beat the enemy at their own game. You know how you beat the enemy at your own game? And you want to know how you're going to beat the enemy every single time? You're going to beat them by not reacting the way they think you should react and by not responding the way that they think you should respond. Never let the enemy know they've gotten under your skin. Never let the enemy know how you truly feel because whenever you keep airing how you feel and what bothers you and everything that you're going through with, the moment that you keep airing these things, the enemy is going to take these things and he's going to set booby traps for you. He's going to devise plans to destroy you. He's going to cause his culprits to scheme against your life, life to devise things against you that's going to hinder you, that's going to slow you up. You don't owe anybody an explanation. The only person that you're accountable to in this world, and that is God. That is our Father. Humanity, you don't have to keep explaining yourself to people. People know who you are, family. People know what you stand for, and they know what you're not going to stand for, too. And they don't like it when you can't be controlled. When people can't dominate you, they don't like it. When people can't manipulate you and con you, they don't like it. So stop explaining yourself to people. Let your no mean no and let your yes mean yes. That's all you have to do. And if people have a problem with you setting boundaries for your life, that's their problem. That's a personal problem. It doesn't mean that you're trying to be funny about things in your life. It doesn't mean that you're, that you're, you're trying to be mean with people? No. You're rising up 
and you're rising above all of your circumstances, you're rising above all of your situation. We gotta be wise people. You have to have wisdom. You have to know the plans of the enemy. God told us why the enemy came. The enemy came to steal, to kill, and to destroy everything that God came to give you. So we have to always be aware that we have an adversary. And you got to know what your adversary does and how he fights and what he's equipped with. And you got to know what you're equipped with. Because what God equipped you with, you will never lose a battle. You can't lose if you use the tools in warfare that God has told you that you have. Your prayer life is a powerful weapon against the kingdom of darkness. You have to always pray and don't give up. You have to always pray and don't ever give up. Never, ever give up. If you know what, you're, have, what you have a right to have, if you know the promise that God has given you, you have to stand on that promise. And you don't have to keep explaining yourself to people why you do what you do, family of God. You don't owe humanity an explanation. You're not accountable to humanity. That's nobody's business. And you're teaching people to stay in their own lane. You're teaching people how to mind their own business. You pull back. You pull your presence back. You pull your time back. You pull your energy back. You pull your effort back. You pull your gifting back, your calling. You, you pull your anointing back that God gave you. You pull your finances back. You pull your help back. You pull your support back. When God is elevating you at some point in your life, God is going to cause you to withdraw. You have to withdraw. You had to withdraw. Why is it important for us to withdraw? It's important so that we can do a self-reflection of who we are. We have to get along with us so we can know how we're going to proceed going forward. So we can know why we do what we do. Why did you make those decisions? How can I make a better decision the next time around? This is why God is moving you, family, to a place where he can speak to you, where he can talk to you, where he can pour into you so you can be healed because the journey ahead is going to require your strength. The journey that is before you is going to require the wisdom that you have. You're going to have to use your wisdom that God gave you. And using wisdom a lot of times in this world will cause you to be quiet. Being wise, sometimes being silent. You don't have to justify who you are. You don't have to justify why you do what you do. You don't have to give a person an explanation why God called you to do things in your life this way. You don't owe anybody an explanation. If people are paying that much attention to your life, if people are paying, paying that close of attention to your life, that lets you know they don't have one. So many people don't have a life and they pay too much attention to the lives of other people. Get a life of your own is what you're teaching people. You're showing people that indirectly. Some people directly may say it, but indirectly, the way that you're moving, the way that God is leading you, you're showing people get a life. You're going to live a life that's better at this point in your life because you are obeying God in ways that you didn't even obey him before. You're going to live a better life. All things won't be positive always. I want you to understand that. It doesn't mean you're going to be without a, a battle. It doesn't mean you're not going to be without a fight. It doesn't mean you'll never go through anything in your life. You're going to go through things in life, but it, it's just that. You're going to go through things in life. You're going to come out of the other side. And not only are you going to come out on the other side, you're going to come out fully equipped. You're going to come out, family, so much stronger. You, you're going to be so much more grateful than what you were. You don't owe people an explanation. You don't have to keep explaining yourself away to people. A lot of people try to be very cunning and sly with you because they want to see what's going on in your life. This is why people will require an explanation for you, from you. Why you do what you do? Why did you make that decision? What are you up to? What are your plans? You don't tell, tell people your plans unless God has ordained a person in your life and, and the Holy Spirit has given you the green light to do that. If God hasn't given you the green light, then you don't explain your plans to people. You don't. You don't explain yourself away to people. And it's okay not to explain yourself to people. Let your no mean no. When you said no, you meant no. You don't have to put any excuse behind it. You don't have to give any reason behind it, family. Your no means no. 
your boundary that you put in place, you put that boundary in place. You put that wall in place to let people know you can't violate me. And if you step over this line, if you crawl over this wall and try to jump over to where I am, that means you're violating my boundary. So you must be willing to suffer the consequences. This is Prophetess Nick. It's good to be here with you. I'm so grateful that you tune into another broadcast of You Are Enough. Don't ever forget that another day in your life, you owe no man nothing but to love them. Don't keep explaining yourself away to people. You owe no man an explanation why you do what you do. God called you to do what he told you to do. You are accountable to God. You do exactly what God told you to do. You do exactly how God told you to do it, when he told you to do it, with who he told you to do it. It doesn't matter if people don't like it. And a lot of people will criticize what they have no understanding of. If you have people in your life that are critical of you and your plans and the vision that God gave you, a lot of times, family, they have a lack of understanding. And people sometimes won't understand your vision because they're not called to that. You don't have to explain yourself if God called you, what he called you to do, how he called you to do it. You owe no man no explanation. All you owe humanity is to love them. The agape love. God bless all of you. Thank you for what you do on our channel every single day. Don't get scammed on this channel, family. I'm not reaching out to anybody. Anything you need to know about me, how to reach me. It's always going to be in the description box of the videos. And thank all of you for jumping over to Instagram and supporting our page at Nikki G. McCray. Those of you who are supporting us that are tuning in daily with us, when God leads you to tune into this YouTube channel, we would ask that you give us your support as well over to our Instagram page. Thank you for supporting the book. Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness. Thank you for supporting our benevolence candles and the products that God has allowed us to serve you here on this channel. We love you here. Hold your head up and keep going, family. Stop explaining yourself to people if you've been doing that. You owe no man no explanation. You don't have to do that. They don't like it because you said no. When you refuse to keep doing things that you used to do, people won't like it, family. When you say no, people won't like it because you say no. They'll look at you like, how can you tell me no? You've been telling me yes. So long. It's time to draw the, the line in the sand. And when you draw the line in the sand, and when you set a boundary in place, don't step over your boundary. Love who you are. God is teaching you how to love you. Self-love is so important. You can't give away what you don't have. And people can never give you what they do not have. And whatever you are desiring in your life, whatever you're desiring from anybody, you first must become that. You must become what you are desiring from anybody. You want love, give it to you. You want to be financially stable? It's on the inside of you because God said your gift shall make room for you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our videos. Stay hooked up to God while you can because his spirit won't always strive with any of us. Love on him while you can. Love on God. Get your things in order where you need to get in order, family of God. Make all of your wrongs right. Ask the Holy Spirit to live in you, to move and have his being in you and to lead you in the places where you need to be. And ask God to shut doors where they need to be closed and give you the strength and the grace to stay out of his way. Let God work. Let God work. Trust God enough. Haven't we trusted people that we shouldn't have in the past? We all are guilty family, but we, we're not condemned because through Christ, there is no condemnation. God bless you. We love you. Talk later.